This is the sound that Jennifer Orford loves to hear. Orford and her husband are expecting a baby in a few weeks. It's been hard to ignore the commotion around the Zika virus. I have a lot of questions. I imagine many other women in my situation do as well. Much is yet to be learned about the link between the virus and certain birth defects. And a University of Missouri healthcare physician says more research is needed to prove the correlation. What we don't know is how strong the association is between Zika virus and microcephaly. We don't know if somebody is infected with Zika virus, how likely they are to get microcephaly. But as a precaution, Dr. Jackson and the CDC recommend pregnant women or women planning to get pregnant not travel to areas where the Zika virus has been reported. While some researchers are working to develop a vaccine, others are focusing on the mosquitoes carrying the Zika virus. MU researcher Alexander Franz and his team genetically modify disease-carrying mosquitoes their focus has been the dengue virus, but now the Zika virus has been added to their list. We try to manipulate mosquitoes in such a way to make them resistant actually to these viruses. This way a transmission cycle can be interrupted. Franz doesn't believe the Zika virus will be as widespread in the United States as West Nile virus due to different climates. Maybe in southern Florida, Texas, there might be some pockets of transmission between mosquitoes and humans. Until researchers have more answers. It's important not to panic um, and not to jump to conclusions. Education might just be the best defense against the Zika virus for Orford and pregnant women around the world. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.